Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in Henrico County. More specifically, we're off the Staples Mill Corridor. We're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three and a half bath home. This home was built in 2007, so it's relatively new construction. And just to give you an idea of what the block looks like here, we've got a mixture of uh, some newer construction and some older construction uh, homes probably built in the uh, early 80s or so um, this home is uh, next to uh, newer construction on both sides and uh, this home is deceivingly large it doesn't uh, appear to be as large as it actually is uh, this home is valued at about a hundred and eighty five thousand uh, judging from my comparables, uh, the government has it on the market now for 165. It probably will not last long at that price and is in relatively good condition uh, by government and bank owned home standards. Here when we come in we have the staircase to the right, we can go straight ahead into the kitchen and to the left we've got our family room area. Uh, as with most bank and government owned homes, carpet and paint would be necessary. I uh, do have a ceiling fan. We've got some crown molding in here as well. This is a really neat feature. They've got gas log fireplace built into this corner. You've got your connections over top for your television and so it makes a real neat uh, location to put a TV. Straight ahead of course you've got your dining area, formal dining area and they did a little transition there to kind of help define this space. So plenty of space uh, for dining there and of course a window looking out over the rear. So I'm going to give you a shot here from this corner. A uh, nice bright wide open family room. As we go into our kitchen, uh, kitchen's in pretty good shape. We've got an island, real convenient. They have a outlet there which is really neat if you have small appliances that you want to use occasionally and you can just plug it in put it on the island. Uh, definitely ample cabinet space. We've got black appliances that do convey with the exception of the refrigerator. You would need to bring in your own refrigerator. Nice size pantry there. Uh, with this being a modern home, we do have 200 amp electrical. And where I'm standing now would actually go your dining room table, your informal dining room table. Nice size deck here in the rear. You definitely could get uh, some nice furniture out here for your outdoor entertaining. We don't have a whole lot of backyard space here uh, in this house. Uh, we are open on this side to uh, the adjoining property so somebody could easily put up a little privacy fence if, if desired. Not a whole lot of grass uh, to cut here and if you have children uh, or even if you're an adult and you want to practice your trampoline skills if you get real friendly with the neighbors you might be able to do that. All right, we're going to go on through the rest of the downstairs and take a look at our second and third levels. Uh, believe it or not, this home does have a third level. Here we have our powder room. Pretty straightforward with a pedestal sink and electronic thermostat. Here we have our coat closet, which is convenient to the front door. So a nice modern floor plan. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with the way they laid this home out. Uh, definitely good use of space. Best of all, the monthly payments on this house will probably be just under a thousand dollars total payment, which is very tough to do in Henrico for a relatively new four bedroom, three and a half bath home. The secondary bedrooms in this home are relatively conservative. Uh, there aren't any huge secondary bedrooms. Our hall bath, nice large vanity, fiberglass tub shower enclosure, and then they chose to do a second floor laundry. Here we've got our washer dryer hookups and some additional storage. This is actually off of the hall bath. So the good thing is you don't have to lug laundry up and down the steps. We're now going into our master. We have a ceiling fan, nice natural light. It is an ample sized master. Straight ahead we have our walk-in closet. 
good closet space there and then our master bath nice large vanity got space there for a uh, chair as a makeup table and our tub shower enclosure nice natural light come in there through that window so a nice master bath and as we go back through we're going to take a look at our third bedroom this is also going to be a secondary bedroom this once again is a conservative bedroom this would make a good office here closet straight ahead and then my favorite part of the house is our finished third level the great thing about this third level it could be used as a teen suite it could be used as a man cave woman cave storage room media room a bunch of different uses here for this space we have another thermostat that makes it nice you can control upstairs downstairs independently really good storage space here in our utility room electric water heater two units dual zone for heating and air makes it really nice to keep it very comfortable on both levels full bath this is our third full bathroom here on the third level and then into the main space here on this third level and of course i believe the previous occupants used this as a bedroom but as i mentioned earlier you can use it any way you see fit you can go through the closet and come out the other side so plenty of closet space here on the third level once again this is a great deal for henrico county if this tour has been helpful for you please call me my name is max williams i am an authorized hud agent would be happy to get you into this property and see if it's right for you if not i can also send you a list of other homes that may meet your criteria we're seeing now that the really good deals get multiple offers and typically the first people to see them often are the ones that are successful in getting home that's right for them once again max williams can be reached at 402-7788 or can be reached on the web at richmondhouseinfo.com thanks so much for taking the tour i hope you have a great day i look forward to speaking with you soon